Hi Equals, it's Kim, and we're talking about pride this week. But before I get started and answer the question, well, at least in my opinion, as to why we have two brides in Columbus this week, I did want to mention I did go see this play. It's called The Cake, and it's uh, being performed at Tantrum Theater, which is the professional theater of Ohio University. And Tantrum, actually, so Ohio University's uh, mascot is the bobcat, and if you have a whole bunch of bobcats, that's known as a tantrum of bobcats. And that's where the theater gets its name. But anyway, this was a really good show. Um, it's still on through the rest of June. Look it up, The Cake at Tantrum Theater. They are not sponsoring this. I'm just, uh, because we've talked about Masterpiece Cake, The Case, uh, and this happens to be showing at Tantrum Theater, it's just an interesting confluence of events. Something to do this, this uh, Pride season. Anyway. Back to why does Columbus have two prides? I have totally stayed out of this, or as much as I could, stayed out of this question this last year. So why am I choosing now? Well, I guess because I'm hoping people are interested in various opinions. And um, my opinion is basically that there is value in um, both approaches. So let's go back. For those of you who don't know, um, at Columbus Pride during the parade last year, uh, there was a protest by a group of people, including four individuals who later became known as the Black Pride Four. And this larger group was uh, planning or and conducted a protest. Uh, they were protesting a few things. I probably confused their message. They, I. If I had been doing, I would have protested one thing. It's a little easier to um, explain what you're doing when there's only one thing you're protesting. But so they were protesting um, the fact that the police officer who had killed Philandro Castile had gotten um, off those off from charges. And so they were protesting um, police brutality to black and brown bodies. And they were protesting that they felt as uh, LGBT people of color that they were did not feel um, represented by the Columbus Stonewall LGBT Center. And the Columbus Stonewall LGBT Center uh, is the organizing organization, I guess that's kind of awkward to say, but the organizing organization of Columbus Pride. Now in that protest, uh, they happened to conduct it in a place where the parade could not be rerouted because of the way the roads were. The Columbus Police Department Asked first apparently asked them to move and when they didn't because it was protest that's what happens uh, they were forcibly removed and the, the the question arose was there police brutality against uh, those four black and brown bodies um, that became better known as the black pride four I didn't actually watch uh, the video I've heard uh, stories about it from both sides and um, I'm not an expert enough to tell you for sure, you know, what happened. Um, you know, I have heard from police a couple of things. One, anytime you block off streets, in, at least in Columbus, anytime you're going to block off streets, like for a parade, you have to have police security. So you cannot be, you cannot have a situation where they aren't there. Um, you just lawfully cannot conduct a parade without law enforcement. So there's that. And that, you know, for whatever reasons, good, bad, I'm not judging right now, but you know, if you, if you touch a law, uh, a law enforcement officer, um, they are likely to come back with some form of force. Um, too much force, I'm not a judge. Anyway, so what has uh, happened after that was that the group kind of uh, broadly represented by the Black Pride Four, um, didn't feel that Stonewall Columbus uh, responded in the way that they would have liked. Again, I'll leave this for other people. And there's been a lot of social media conversation about it. Regardless, that's what happened. The group broadly represented by the Black Pride Four did not feel that Stonewall Columbus responded in the way that they would have liked to have seen their center respond. Certainly the LGBT organizations in Columbus have spent pretty much the last year, quite often, talking about uh, this whole situation. And what has come from it is two prides. 
uh, one that is kind of known as alternative pride or community pride, and I'll link the um, websites below so that you can see what's going on. So there's the community pride, and then there's the uh, more traditional Stonewall Columbus pride. Now the community pride folks, rightly so, remind us that the, the word Stonewall in the LGBT community, and it's a word that's often used, comes from a riot that happened uh, in the late 1960s in New York at what was what is was known as the Stonewall Inn. And that riot historically marks the beginning of the, for lack of a better term, gay rights movement. And so Stonewall, that word, all right, is very, very important and evokes uh, resistance to police brutality. What happened at the Stonewall Inn is that the police had raided the bar frequently um, and arrested patrons. And at the patrons at the Stonewall Bar were, for the most part, people of color, low income, under or unemployed. Um, yeah, and so it was a certain segment of society and they got sick of it. And one day, actually, I believe it coincided with uh, a period of time in which Judy Gar Garland had passed away, uh, rioted against the police raiding the Stonewall Inn. So Stonewall, that word, right, has a very close connection to uh, police brutality of black and brown bodies. The Stonewall Center here in Columbus gets its name from that. But over time, pride for as the Columbus Stonewall Center and most prides, I would say, uh, have taken on a much more commercial, uh, society, societally accepted um, face. Uh, if you go to Columbus Pride, you know, all the big banks are there and all these huge companies have, you know, their signs all over and it's very corporate. And there's a lot of corporate money that, you know, because putting on a pride of that size is very, very expensive. So there's a lot of corporate money. You know, there's a lot of uh, government involvement, whether it's from the city, whether it's from the Columbus Police Department, whether it's the Franklin County Sheriff's Office, whether it's Homeland Security and FBI because they're worried about a pulse incident. All of those uh, entities are involved in pride. And I think with... and and. There's nothing wrong with that. I happen to enjoy that. And, but rightly so, the community pride people want to return in an earlier version of pride. And there's nothing wrong with that. So in order to do that, they are holding their pride, same day, in a park. Uh, there will be no parade. And what that means is there's no streets shut down. So there's no, no need to have Columbus Police Department or any other um, law enforcement involved. I do hear that there might be um, some private security. I'm going to guess that they won't be in uniform. I'm going to guess that they're LGBT people. I've kind of heard that the company might be owned by a transgender person. Um, this is all uh, rumor, <laughs> but that would be really cool if it was. And, and if, if you're out there and um, I'm, I'm looking for the name of that company and I haven't been able to get it <laughs> for another for another venue. Anyway, the, um, so there's, there's good things, in my opinion, about uh, both, both approaches. Um, certainly, I'm the type who likes to make nice with everybody. I'm a connector. I, I like to work with everybody. I don't like to get involved in people's drama. Um, okay, I'm not saying that any of this is drama, just in general, because the, the LGBT movement is actually full of drama in various places. Um, but I don't like to get myself involved in that. I don't, that's, that's not something that drives me. Um, so I'm hoping, you know, that eventually these two prides do come together again. Um, I, I, I feel bad um, that there is a division uh, right now. Uh, but next Saturday, you might find me at both places um, because I actually do support the idea of both. Anyway, uh, so there's two prides in Columbus uh, this week. Uh, I'm going to, linking below uh, the websites where you can find out all about the different events. The main event is Saturday um, at, at both places, uh, but there are various events um, 
between now and then uh, across the city in different places. So have a great Pride weekend, everybody. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. I'd love it if you'd subscribe. That helps me out. And um, love to hear your comments. How do you feel about Pride? Good, bad, uh, indifferent? Um, yeah, love to hear from you. Uh, and I do have one troll, so, you know, if he's out there um, speaking ill of various things, he's, he's been on the Masterpiece Cake stuff lately, um, you know, just ignore him. <laughs> do not engage the trolls. Have a good Pride weekend, everybody. See you equals.